it. Don't reach in the vine. No. Don't. And you get your paw out of there. One cat on one side of the blind, and the other cat on the other side of the blind. One cat playing with the tail of the other cat beneath the blind. The other cat objecting. Floyd's gone. That's Floyd. She's gone. Leaving Julia behind the blind. The only cat who insists on being right up against the window. I can't see the blinds. They're in my way. Anyway. So I was sitting here yesterday. I really can't see much anymore. This cedar. Ah, oh, that's fascinating, isn't it? Yes, go see what she's doing. Julia. Go ahead. Move away from the blind. Oh, my goodness. I guess she was concentrating on something else and didn't realize I was reaching to touch her heel. Holy smokes, tiger. What a, what a skittish bunch. Now everyone's upset. Anyway, I was sitting here and I can't really see past the cedar tree anymore. I used to be able to see right over to my neighbor's driveway and any cars they had parked in the driveway. And I could see the woman who lives there moving from the house uh, to a separate garage, which they have um, outfitted as a uh, rec room and prefer to their, prefer it to their house. They have a, a wood stove in there, they have you know, everything and would rather be there than in their house. So she goes back and forth. Well, this year, there have been a lot of health issues there, and I really don't know what's going on. But, I saw, oh God, I can't see past the tree. Stupid cedar tree. I have privacy because of it. I also can't snoop because of it. No way. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I saw yesterday that, wow, I think there's somebody around. Hmm, because a pickup truck pulled in. A brown pickup truck. There's never a brown pickup truck there. Hang on, I need some coffee. The woman drives. I read Chrysler or something fairly big, fairly macho type of car. And it's hers. Her husband drives the big blue um, van. Anyway, the pickup truck pulls in. I look to see who's getting out because I sort of vaguely thought that the person, you know, who was driving it was, was, was that her? And I haven't seen her in a long time. So I was sort of watching, making out, and then I see a little while later that someone gets back into the car and it is her. And she gets into the pickup truck. And then I'm, I'm working here, I don't remember what I was working on. And the pickup truck is backing out. And all of a sudden here I bang. I look. I get up to look because I can't see. There has been a black car parked in front of my house for much of the day, including the garage sale across the street, yard sale. Anyway, but you know, I couldn't really tell if that's, you know, was it just the tail?
tailgate of the truck that had just banged down, or was it something hitting the car, had the pickup truck hit the car. So I stood up, I was looking, then I went to the bedroom and I looked from there, and the brown pickup truck had pulled back into the driveway, which was suspicious right from the start. And the woman got out and she was checking her tailgate. I thought, yeah, pickup truck hit the car. I couldn't see anything really of the car. I could only see the side of the car, not the back of the car. And I didn't want to be seen either. So anyway, the pickup truck pulls out carefully and drives off. So in the meantime, I go outside. I notice that my paper is... Oh yes, I, I go out to the sidewalk and I see that the paper is in my front doorway, so I go and pick that up. It's good cover. Then another car pulls up to the house and some people walk out and go into the house. So in that moment, I take the opportunity to have a look at the back of this car, the black car in front of the house. And lo and behold, the left taillight is smashed. I didn't have enough time to really look, see if there's any body damage because the people were coming out again. So I, I went back inside. That was my excitement for yesterday. That's exciting. Oh, yes, then we went to see X-Men First Class, all right. It was as good a movie as the first X-Men. Only, of course, the element of surprise has been taken away, all right? So you're always going, oh, 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 is that how that, oh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really enjoyed it and thought it was cool. And well done. Had the element of the surprise been there on my part, it would have been exactly as good as the first movie. So that means it was exactly as good as the first movie. It was cool. I had to go all the way to Kitchener to see it because the uh, the show here in Cambridge was at 9.20. The only showing of the movie was at 9.20. I guess it's, it's done and it's going out. So we went to the 6.10 showing in Kitchener. It's not that much further, but a little bit. And I couldn't use any of my cards or offers. Because all I have is Cineplex, and they are Empire Theatres, and we have to pay cash for everything. Bummer. Anyway, I've still got lots of a $50 card for my daughter for Christmas from a couple of years ago. So I really should use that. Really should use that next time I go to the movies. Better check to see that it doesn't wear out. Wear out. Expire? They're not allowed to expire anymore, are they? I don't think so. Anyway. That was my fun last night, yesterday. A bender bender in a movie. Always fun. Today I have to go get some gift wrap because it's my husband's birthday tomorrow and we're having a party tonight. So, I'm off. See you later.